Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Redbox's RDBX stock and how it has recently exploded in stock price. We're going to be talking about if this is a good stock to own and the future price predictions for this particular company based off of analysts' projections. Then we're going to talk about how Redbox is actually being acquired by another company and whether or not this is going to be good or bad for Redbox investors. After that, we're going to be going over Tesla's 3-for-1 stock split, which in my personal opinion is phenomenal news, and of course we're going to be going over the latest price targets and price predictions for the TSLA stock. We're also going to touch on a prediction that I said about Tesla around 4 months ago in a previous video that just came true, and then lastly, we're going to talk about some blue chip stocks that are also either have performed or are about to perform some stock splits. For more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So Redbox Entertainment, ticker symbol RDBX, has received a flood of retail investors into this company as of late. But what do the price projections, price predictions, and price targets actually say about this company? Well, currently the stock trades for around $13.20 per RDBX share. However, according to the most bearish negative analyst price predictions, we have this stock literally being worth only 5 cents per share, and then even on the bullish positive side, it goes as high as $5 per share over the next 12 months. So this would indicate that the company is currently way overvalued and it's trading at an extreme premium right now. So why has this happened? So if you didn't know, Redbox has been making very impressive price movements because of two main catalysts. And these catalysts have caused the RDBX stock to actually more than double in price, which is quite incredible if you think about it. And the reason why this is phenomenal and astounding is because the overall stock market has continuously been on a large market sell-off right now, really focusing on aggressive growth companies and technology companies due to inflation. For instance, the month of May's CPI data, which stands for Consumer Price Index, came in at around 8.6%, and this index tracks inflation across a plethora of different categories. And inflation of this level hasn't been seen since 1981. And because of this, many people are calling for even higher inflation numbers for the coming months that are going to range between 9% and 10%. So the first catalyst that has caused the Redbox stock price to absolutely explode is that they are being acquired by Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, ticker symbol CSSE. E, and they are acquiring Redbox for around $375 million, even though today the market capitalization of the company is around $580 million. But why else has the RDBX stock continued to climb? Well, mainly it's due to a short squeeze. So basically, investors as well as institutions were shorting this company, which means they are betting that the company was going to continuously go lower in their stock price, but because that didn't happen due to a large amount of volume of retail investors jumping in and investing into this company, it forced a short squeeze, which caused the stock price to absolutely skyrocket. Also, if you didn't know, Redbox is a company that has kiosks that you can go to to rent movies and even video games. Now, with this being said about Redbox, I am not invested into this company at all. I think this is a very short-lived jump in price, and this rally is not going to be sustainable over the long term, in my personal opinion. So right now, Redbox's RDBX stock is actually one of the most dangerous stocks on the stock market right now. So if you are getting into this company just to trade it, you have to be extremely careful, and I would not advocate to do this. But if you do decide to do this, remember to do your own research and make sure you are playing at your own risk. Redbox has literally become one of the most popular meme stocks recently because its short interest skyrocketed to around 210% of its overall float which is absolutely extremely high for a company such as this. And because of such a high short interest, it did cause a short squeeze because retail investors ended up artificially creating a squeeze. But I do want to say that if you do own shares of Redbox, for every Redbox share that you own, you're going to receive 0.087 of a fractional share worth of CSSE stock. However, this does not change my opinion on Redbox and I'm still not going to invest 
into this particular company. So the deal between Redbox and ticker symbol CSSE could fall through, but I highly doubt it. And even this Motley Fool article rightfully points out that it's almost certainly going to be completed even after this short squeeze because the company is literally just being bought out right now. So that is going to be our stock news for Redbox. Now let's talk about Tesla and their three for one stock split, as well as one of the people on their board of directors leaving the company. So Tesla as a company does a plethora of things, but they're most known for making electric vehicles. Right now, their TSLA stock price trades for around $696. However, the low end analyst price target for the next 12 months sits at around $900 and the high end price prediction for the company goes as high as $1,620 per share. Overall, Tesla, I think, is a phenomenal company to own, and I think we could see a lot more price appreciation over the long term for this company, despite their talks about a three-for-one split, which I think is going to go through. The reason I think this is because Tesla is holding a shareholder meeting on August 4th, where investors can actually vote on this. And despite the TSLA shares dropping around 34% in price so far this year, I just view this as a good buying opportunity for this company. Tesla even even came out in a recent announcement and they said, and I quote, that the Tesla stock split would help reset the market price of our common stock so that our employees will have more flexibility in managing their equity, all of which in our view may help maximize shareholder value. In addition, as retail investors have expressed a high level of interest in investing in our stock, we believe the stock split will also make our common stock more accessible to our retail shareholders, end quote. So basically what they're doing is they are lowering the overall stock price because not everyone has $696 on hand to buy one share of Tesla. However, if your brokerage offers you fractional shares, you could literally invest into Tesla with as little as $1. So if you want to, I would highly recommend looking into a brokerage that offers fractional shares. However, for me, across the board, I think not only is the stock split going to go through, but I think this is going to act as a temporary catalyst, which is going to cause the TSLA stock price to increase. This would also mark the second time that Tesla performed a stock split in the last two years. For instance, back in August of 2020, Tesla split their stock four for one, and now they are looking to do that again. As a side note, one of their board of directors are stepping down, and that's going to be Larry Ellison. So now Tesla Tesla's board has seven members instead of eight members. Now, this stock split from Tesla's TSLA shares actually shouldn't be a surprise to you because around four months ago, I actually made a video about how Tesla's TSLA stock will be split. And then I did an update video about two weeks ago saying that the Tesla shares are coming and they will be split. So again, this is another prediction that we have successfully predicted. And this actually happens quite often, but people really aren't willing to stay until these predictions actually come true. Similarly, another outstanding prediction would be SoFi Technologies that they're going to become profitable at the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025, and I still stand by that particular prediction. I also have two other videos saying that Robinhood stock was going to crash and Rivian stock was going to crash. But I digress. Let's talk about some blue chip companies to determine which stock is the best when we compare Amazon, Alphabet, and Tesla. So, of course, we're going to start off with Alphabet, and if you didn't know, Alphabet is the parent company to Google and YouTube. And they also will be performing a stock split, unlike Amazon, which actually already implemented their stock split. And then we have Tesla, which we just talked about their stock split. So Amazon performed a 20 for one stock split and it occurred earlier in the week. And then similar to Amazon, Alphabet will also be performing a 20 for one stock split that is set to take place on July 15th. And we don't need to go over Tesla's stock split because we literally just did that in the last article. So we're going to start off with talking about Alphabet to determine if this is even a good company to buy. I want to make you aware that in my personal opinion, I think Alphabet is one of the best stocks that you could possibly buy on the stock market. And according to data from Global Stats, Google has accounted for between 91 and 93% of worldwide internet search share over the past two years. So clearly Alphabet as well as Google have a monopoly when it comes to the internet. And this allows them to come 
demand ad pricing, which gives YouTube and Google a plethora of revenue. Speaking about Google, Google has consistently grown their revenues by double digit percentage points, which is phenomenal for a company as big as Google. Likewise, YouTube, which is a very successful streaming platform, which you're probably watching this video on, is the second most visited social site on the planet with 2.2 billion monthly active users. Right now, the GOOGL stock for Alpha Alphabet trades for around $2,223.23. However, this is substantially lower than the low-end bearish analyst price target of $2,500 for the next 12 months, and the high-end bullish price target comes in at around $4,533. So clearly, this company is an absolute steal right now, not even considering that Google is a powerhouse when it comes to their cloud infrastructure because they are literally ranked number three in the entire world for a cloud infrastructure service provider. And they have been growing this business by around 40 to 50% annually, which is absolutely astounding, which makes Alphabet literally one of my favorite companies and favorite stocks to invest into. But now let's talk about Amazon. So most people are probably familiar with Amazon. They are an e-commerce business, but they also do a plethora of other things, and they basically dominate the online marketplace. Amazon has estimated to bring in around 39.5% of all U.S. online sales in 2022, so clearly they are all also a dominant force when it comes to the online marketplace on the internet. So right now, after the stock split, they trade for around $109.65, but the low-end analyst price target for the company is $112, and the high-end price prediction is $232, which again would mean that over the next 12 months, this company is undervalued right now, and it's a prime buying opportunity in my personal opinion. And similar to Alphabet, Amazon is one of my favorite stocks to actually invest into. Which leads us lastly to Tesla, which we talked about earlier, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer. Tesla has an extreme competitive advantage in the electric vehicle market, not only for EV production, but also their batteries, capacity, and ranges, as well as chargers, are very competitive in today's market. Right now, the TSLA shares trade for around $696.69, while the low-end analyst price target is $900, and the high-end price prediction for the company is $1,620 per share, which again means that not only is this company undervalued, but I I think it's a phenomenal buying opportunity right now, especially because the technology and growth stocks have pulled back so aggressively. The company generated around $3.74 billion in adjusted profit for the first quarter, which is absolutely amazing. But this does beg the question, out of these three companies, which one is the best? Now, of course, this is going to be my personal opinion. I honestly love all of these companies, and I own a large portion of my portfolio allocated to these particular companies, either through ETFs that hold these companies, or even an individual play. So if we compare Tesla, Amazon, and Alphabet, which one do I think is the best buying opportunity? Well, honestly, I think it's Alphabet right now is the best buying opportunity because they are trading at a multiple that is far below Amazon and Tesla. So not only is it a good buying opportunity, but I also think it's going to be a phenomenal stable blue chip stock in your overall portfolio. Now, what I am not saying is that this company is going to make you richer than Tesla or Amazon. I'm just saying at the current price point, I would say this is the least risky stock to invest in, and it also has really good stock price appreciation. So out of these companies, I'm going to side with Alphabet, and the author of this Motley Fool article also agrees with me. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Remember to go and smash that like button for more videos like this one. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.